Here we are at the entrance to the Henge. The two largest stones here uh, were placed at the entrances, probably to be more impressive. Uh, we were talking about like what the purpose of this Henge could be, and no one really knows for sure. But one thing that we can say is that the way it is arranged suggests that it was shaped for rituals that involved inclusion, exclusion, and procession. Some people think that this is a kind of public theater, you might say, that gave physical expression to the world order as they saw it and to people's place within that order and to their relationship with the gods and expressing the nature and transmission of authority, whether that be political or spiritual. Because the Henge was built over a period of 600 years, the nature of their beliefs and their rituals may have changed over time, and as they modified this place, it coincided with their changing beliefs.